Today we got a Red Stars game. Chicago Red Stars, Chicago women's professional soccer team. <gasps> An hour and a half later. Now it's time to go get the credentials, get all checked in, get the laptop ready, get everything set up so that once the players start getting here and everything hits the ground running, I'm ready to go, gear's all ready to go. Getting my timeline and everything set up, getting it all ready to go, getting everything in the right folders, getting all organized, like I mentioned so that we can be ready for game time. I'm walking around, nobody's even here. Entrances aren't for another 20 minutes. I'm getting some photos. I know I got the microphone on, don't make fun of me. Getting some scene setter photos, so some of the signage all around for a potential story post or feed post. What I'm looking for right now is signage, but not only that, unique ways to show it. Obviously, there's the sign to the left of me, but where can I get textures? Where can I get signage? before anybody gets here. These are the shots nobody else is getting, so why not come out and get them? We are waiting for arrivals. The players are gonna come in right over here. We're all gonna be camped out here. There's like six cameras waiting for the players to come in, so it doesn't make them uncomfortable at all. But we got a new idea here. We're gonna do kind of the glam bot. If you've ever seen the Grammy stuff where they have that camera on a robot in the super slow-mo, we're gonna do the handheld version of that. We don't have the budget for all those robots and stuff. So we're doing this for a bunch of different players, seeing which ones turn out best. A couple will get posted to Instagram, a couple won't, but we gotta shoot for everything. So as I mentioned before, the name of the game is Speed. Headed back over to the media box right now so I can dump these, get them all speed ramped, ready to go for social. But the process for this is that I'm gonna import them and then I'm gonna take them into Premiere, speed ramp them, after they're in Premiere, all speed ramp's gonna export it, throw it into After Effects with a little pixel blur, and then they're ready for social media. Don't forget about the color too, we gotta add a little bit of color. Turn those around. The good news is I'm clearly doing something right. Both clips were posted. Gotta love it. And then I got a shot of the sprinklers. Turn that around quick. Now we're out here for pregame. Gonna get five good pregame shots. And then we're gonna head back, get those ready to turn around. So then Tyra, the content manager, can post those with whatever sound she wants. And I'll be good for pregame. Don't wanna overshoot here. It's gotta be a quick turn because this does not last too long at all. Right now, getting some warm up shots out. I told you I had the intention of just getting a few. That's what we did. We didn't do anything different. So, right now, you see, I just cut together this Yuki shot. A little speed ramp in, as you see in the timeline. Quick, easy, ready to go. As you see down here, if I get a good shot, I put a frame to the right. So I'll get an empty frame. A lot of sports videographers do that so you know where the clip is that's good, that you want to use. So the game just started. We're sitting here, we got the 70 to 200 with the ND filter because it's still sunny out. Got the shotgun mic on, and that's it. We're on the R5. Keep it simple here. Really just waiting for offensive plays. Haven't been a ton of offensive possession so far, but camping out for that because I'm here to shoot with the Red Stars. So the most important thing is really goals. About 25 minutes into the game, try and move at least three times throughout the game. Four different spots, we'll move three times. Two spots in the first half, two spots in the second half. For this next spot, we're going a little bit different. I haven't been up here before, but I think it's gonna be a cool perspective if something happens. We're above field level, just a little bit. Similar perspective to where I just was, but instead of being on field level, we're a little bit above, so you can get a little bit more of the depth you can kind of read the plays a little bit better too. That's one of the hard things about filming sports, especially football and soccer when the field is so big. You don't realize how much easier it is to read things when you're watching on TV. You know, you can tell when somebody's wide open. You can tell whenever things are developing so much better on TV than whenever you're at field level. It gives you so much more respect for all these players. I'm gonna opt over and do some photos. I'm gonna shoot some photos. Send those over because I still want to send stuff to the team. All right, that's game. Now we get post game. 
and uh, we're good from there. We got post game, got some autographs. One of the players came back from a long injury today, so we wanted to follow her during post game. Got her hugging the other players, giving out some autographs. Probably gonna cut together a quick little edit with that, and then it's a wrap. Thank you for coming along. Thank you for watching. Subscribe if you're not already. Like this video, helps me. It means nothing to you, but it helps me. Peace.